there's a story in the news and I promise you this is the stupidest thing you will hear today unless of course you have a conversation with an anti-vaxxer or a conspiracy theorist because there's bacteria on Mars with greater cognitive ability than the average tinfoiler. Over in the USA an as yet unnamed mother and her daughter are lucky to be alive after their car collided with another at an intersection or as we call them in the UK, a crossroads. So what's the big deal? Well firstly, the 31 year old mother was driving at 120 miles an hour in a built up area. And secondly, when the crash occurred, she wasn't holding onto the steering wheel. So, had she had some sort of seizure? Was there a mechanical fault with the car causing it to speed up? Did she have her hands off the wheel because she was cradling her daughter, preparing for the impact? No, none of those. She was deliberately accelerating and took her hands off the steering wheel so that God could take control of the car. If you've seen this channel before, you'll know I'm a bit of a petrol head. I drive a Mini Cooper S, a lovely little hot hatch. Apparently it does around 140 miles an hour. I wouldn't know because the speed limit is 70. But something I cannot abide about modern cars is the amount of warnings that they give the driver. If I open the door with the engine running, a light comes on and an alarm sounds. Now I know the door is open. It was me that fucking opened it. And if the car moves a sixteenth of an inch and I'm not wearing a seatbelt, for example, when I'm moving it on my own driveway, there's alarms and different warning lights. When the car had new tyres fitted, I had to go into the car's settings and tell it it had new tyres to stop different warning lights. And if it gets low on fuel, there's alarms and flashing lights until it's like driving a fucking disco. I know it needs fuel, it's got a sodding fuel gauge. I don't know what the speed limit is in the USA in a residential area. I do know it's less than 120 miles an hour, but in the UK it's 30. That speed is deemed safe that if a child walks into the road it gives the driver enough time to react and brake. And even if they haven't stopped completely the car will be going slow enough that it probably won't kill the child. However, at 120 miles an hour, if a frozen pea hits you in the right area of the skull it's good night Vienna. Four times what is deemed a safe speed to drive in a built up area in the UK with her fucking daughter sat next to her. So due to the actions of this woman testing her faith in God, I anticipate new cars will have to have more safety features because everything has to be fucking idiot proof. So what I anticipate is that when you go to buy a new car you will have to enter your religion. Now I'm baptised so technically I'm a Christian. So if I buy a new car in a few years time and I'm driving along and for a second I take my hand off the wheel, which is actually quite safe to do in a straight line because you've got Newton's laws of motion and also when a wheel turns it generates gyroscopic, you know, sorry, welcome to physics with disgruntled Danny. So if I'm driving along and I take my hand off the wheel just for a second, a warning symbol in the shape of a crucifix will appear and an electronic voice will say, warning, the almighty has not taken control of the vehicle. But the silly cow went on to say, that her experiment had worked because God had saved her and her daughter. No love, crumple zones, inertia wheel seat belts and airbag saved you. It reminds me of a blog I read last week where a cancer patient said Lord God has saved me from cancer. No, the doctors, nurses and scientists saved you from cancer, it was God that gave it to you. Common sense is dead. As ever, thanks for watching.